Welcome to Airing Perimeter Podcast 3. I thought we could handle finishing this part of the lesson up so we stay on track. All right, so uh, when we're simplifying our radicals, all of these radicals could be simplified. They all have a factor um, that's a perfect square. Uh, we want to break it into our, our prime factors, all right? And then we can see what um, values can come out of the radical, what, are, what our perfect squares are. When you're dividing, it doesn't matter what number you start with. Um, just divide by anything at all that the number is divisible by. So for instance, here we have 1,800 ends in a zero, it's got to be divisible by 10, right? and 10 goes into 1,800 180 times. Right? Neither of those is prime. Right? 2 divides into 10 5 times, 2 times 5 is 10. Right? We can divide 180 by 10 again, right? 10 and 18. Right? And 10 is 2 and 5. Hey, look at that. We have two twos and two fives. And 18 is not prime either. That would be 9 times 2. And 9 is divisible by 3. 3 and 3. All right, so now we've broken that down to all of its prime factors. And we're looking for like factors. We're looking for pairs. And it has to be a pair. Right? So we have a pair of 2s. 1, 2 comes out. 1, 2 goes away. We have a, notice I'm not going to do anything with this other two here, right? I don't, I don't circle them. I don't cross them off. He needs his own buddy. He can't borrow, you know, one from the other pair, right? So we're looking for pairs of like factors. We have a pair of twos. We have a pair of fives. One five is circled. The other one's crossed off. And a pair of threes. One circled, one crossed off. So now we're going to take those circled factors. They come out of the radical. So 2 times 5 times 3 comes out of the radical. One lone 2, the only one not circled and not crossed off at the, from our, our values at the, the ends of the branches here, stays in the radical. So simplify. 2 times 5 times 3 is going to give us 30. So 30 square roots of 2. So by the way, if the perfect square root is 30, that means the perfect square was 900. All right, so let's look at the next one here, 196, right? Divisible by 4. All right, so 4 goes in, divides into 196. Let's see, 4 goes into 19 four times. I have three leftovers. 4 goes into 36 nine times. And interestingly, both of these are perfect squares. Right, 4 is 2 times 2, and 49 is 7 times oops, 7. So that means 1, 2 comes out, 1, 2 goes away. 1, 7 comes out, 1, 7 goes away. So coming out of the radical is 2 times 14. Staying in the radical is nobody. There's nobody left over. Everybody was circled or crossed off. So, whoops, I wrote 2 times 14, excuse me, 2 times 7. I'm thinking of the answer at the end here, which is 14. So 196 is a perfect square. The square root of 196 is 14. Let's look at the next one here, 72. Well, 72 is 9 times 8. Neither of those is prime. 9 is 3 times 3. 8 is 4 times 2. 4 is not prime. That's 2 times 2. 1, 3 comes out. 1, 3 goes away. 1, 2 comes out. 1, 2 goes away. Coming out of the radical is 3 times 2. Staying in the radical is the 1 lone square root of 2. So simplified, square root of 72 is 6 square roots of 2. 36 was the perfect square. 24, 4 and 6, kind of obvious ones for me. You could have taken 2 and 12, or 8 and 3, and you still get the same answer. Uh, 4 uh, breaks down to 2 and 2, and 6 breaks down into 2 and 3. Now we have nothing but prime factors. 1, 2 comes out, 1, 2 goes away. And we don't have another 2, and we don't have an extra 3. So coming out of the radical is just the 2. Staying in the radical, because they don't have buddies to spring them from radical prison, is the 2 times 3. So simplified, 2 times the square root of 6. The perfect square factor was the 4. All right, let's look at 500. An obvious one to me is 5 and 100. 
Now you might realize that 100 is 10 times 10, so guess what? It's going to come out of the radical. But we'll break it down all the way. 1, 2 comes out, 1, 2 goes away, 1, 5 goes out, 1, 5 goes away. So 10 comes out of the radical, right, or 2 times 5, and the square root of 5 stays in the radical. By the way, if you realize you have a pair of 10s and you just want to take 110 out and cross 110, um, 110 off, that would be okay. Um, because you realize, all right, 10 is the perfect square. So 10 comes out of the radical, 5 stays in the radical. That one to me was kind of an easy one. And then the last one here, 128, um, 4. 4 divides evenly into 128. Right, so 4 goes into 12 3 times and into 8 2 times. Neither is prime, so that's 2 and 2. Uh, 32, you can say, well, I'll do 4 and 8. 2 and 16, 4 and 8, they're both good. Uh, 4 breaks down to 2 and 2, and 8 is 4 times 2, and 2 is not prime. So here we have lots and lots of 2s. 1, 2 comes out, 1, 2 goes away, 1, 2 comes out, 1, 2 goes away, 1, 2 comes out, 1, 2 goes away. I'm out of pairs. So coming out of the radical is 2 times 2 times 2, which is not 6. And staying in the radical is just this one lone 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 square roots of 2 is Square root of 128 simplified. The perfect square, by the way, was 64. Right, so that's all you have to do to simplify these. We did that pretty quick. Let's do a couple. I think I have one more problem, and that's the distance formula before we can begin perimeter and area on the coordinate plane. So one more distance problem here. And if we can simplify it, we will. All right, so it doesn't matter who's who's point one and who's point two. All right, so you can be point two. Oops, I meant to put a Y there. And you can be point one. All right, so the distance is the square root of one minus a negative two squared plus three minus four squared. 1 minus a negative is the same as 1 plus 2, so that would be 3, oops, 3 squared, plus negative 1 squared. 3 squared is 9, negative 1 squared is 1, and well, this is the square root of 10. And 10 breaks down to 2 and 5. We have no like factors, so that's all we can do. That's as simple as that one gets, and that's all there is to it. And I'll save the whiteboard problems for whiteboard practice in class on Tuesday. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this podcast and uh, answer the questions that go with it on Nearpod. Bye.